Hello, and welcome to News Channel 15. I'm Jamil Thompson. Jimmy Raj. The holidays are full of traditions around the country at this time of year, and MHS is no exception. The annual Christmas tree sale was held by the band on December 10th, followed by the holiday band concert at the middle school auditorium on December 15th. Now being shown on METV Channel 15 is the holiday choral concert, which was held on December 8th. In recent news, Bernie Madoff, the man who stole millions from innocent people, has experienced a loss himself. His son killed himself this week because he was not able to handle being the descendant of Madoff. His son was under a lot of stress and his suicide came as a surprise to the rest of the family. Madoff will not be released from prison to attend his son's funeral. Students should be aware of the leaving school grounds policy. For a student to leave school grounds, they must have administrative permission. If a student leaves without permission or falsifies a dismissal, the student will be suspended and will have a parent conference. The leaving school grounds policy can be found on page 26 in the student handbook. The Christmas season is coming and you know what that means. Spend, spend, spend. Families are frantically buying gifts for their siblings, aunts and uncles, parents, etc. Though the holiday season is exciting for everyone, it is also very stressful this year due to the weak economy and people wanting to not spend money. So this time of year it is often stressful yet exciting, but get out there and finish your shopping. School breakfasts? Many students have been getting breakfast from the school daily. Students who get these breakfasts often have to become marked tardy. Breakfasts have been causing loss of focus and lower grades in the early morning classes. Students are more focused on their food than their work. Many teachers are doing what they can to do to stop students from eating in their classes because it's a big distraction. In an inspiration to overweight people, the NBC show The Biggest Loser wrapped up its 10th season this week. The winner was Patrick House. He was largely obese when the season started and he lost 181 pounds, which was over 40% of his body weight. He lost a lot of weight and gained a lot of money, 250,000 to be exact. The Golden Globe Awards are presented annually by the Hollywood Foreign Press Association to recognize outstanding achievements in their entertainment industry. The HFPA came out with the official nominees for the 2010 awards show just yesterday. The possible recipients of the best picture include The Black Swan, The Fighter, The King's Speech, Inception, and The Social Network. The Golden Globes are the second most prestigious awards in Hollywood and often are used to predict who will be the winners in the first, the Academy Award. The feature athlete of Meadows High School is Terrence Cosgrove of the varsity hockey team. The 6'3", 200-pound bruising center is looking to lead the team to a second straight tournament berth. Cosgrove recently suffered a gash to the chin in practice but has ensured everyone that he has made a full recovery. His skills and team leadership make him the star player of the hockey team. This hockey season we've had three solid days of tryouts and our coaches picked the team after that so after, basically after that we've been just working our butts off you know skating getting shape putting our lines together going to the weight room we actually do have some young freshmen who are pretty good then we have uh, CJ over there he's killer he, he's pretty good and you gotta watch out for him number 24 Give you another couple numbers to watch out for. 17, Alec Atienza. Um, oh, number eight, big Matty Burton. Birdie over there. Oh, Kevin Marshall. He's a big boy. You, you got to watch out for him. He'll, he'll get your energy up. He'll keep your sugar level high. You got the fruit snacks in the penalty box. Don't forget about those. The high school basketball season jump started on Tuesday, December 14th. The girls team won with a comfortable lead the whole game and a final score of 48 to 37 against a weak Middlesex League team Belmont. On the other hand, the boys team was leading for the most of the game until they suffered a fourth quarter loss, 55 to 48. Ryan Joyle is an honorable mention for league MVP after only one game. He dropped 29 and had 12 assists. We are back for week two. I'm Jeremy Smith. And with, with Frankie Kelly, the captain of the wrestling team. And uh, we're just going to talk about the wrestling team. Frankie, your first meet was this week, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. How'd it go? Uh, unfortunately, we lost. We uh, lost by three. You could blame the ref for that one. Uh, we, were, we were about to win. He called us for stalling. Gave the team another point. We lost. Can you explain some of the rules of wrestling to our uh, viewers? Like, it's kind of a confusing sport, like how the points work. 
Uh, it's not that confusing. Basically, if you take the guy down, you get two points. If he stands back up, you, he gets a point. And then if you pin him, your team gets six points. It's That's been, good. You can, yeah. It's been known like that wrestling has been one of like the toughest high school sports, like training for it. Like, it's up there. With football. It's up there, yeah. It's pretty hard. I mean, sometimes you can't even eat after you practice. Who are the coaches of the wrestling team? Uh, coach Bly is the head coach, Blyler. I think he's the assistant coach of the football team too. And uh, we have Coach Altanaga who coming in, who's coming in the room sometimes. You guys have any uh, young talent? Uh, yeah, we got a, we got Dave Galini. He's looking real good. Dave Galini, huh? Matt Fernicos, probably future state I heard champion. he's a force. I heard he's a force he's on the mat. Spencer force Walsh on the recently added to the wrestling Spencer team. Spencer Walsh, yeah, he's showing good things. That's good. Soon. Yeah. That's that's real good. Um, Matty D came back, I heard. Yeah, Matty D came back from his injury. That's good. Yeah, that's good. So, so the who is your top wrestler? Our top wrestler right now. Uh, we, we we it's too early in the season to tell right now. It's, it's, we're a well-rounded team. Well-rounded team. Yeah. So in uh, Watertown, was there like any like big guys over there that we'll be hearing about in the paper or? From Watertown? Yeah. No. No one. They they're all. Don't even want to talk about it. Don't even want to talk about it. I understand. I understand. Uh, so we got off to a rough start. When's your next meet? Uh, it's actually Wednesday against Belmont. Belmont? Are they any good? Uh, yeah, they have a few, few good, few, few good guys. Few good guys. Yeah. What are you weighing in at? Uh, well, I had to cut from 130 to uh, 119. I haven't even made it yet, so. It's just still working on that. Yeah, it's pretty tough. It's a tough thing. Sean Stan, he's been cutting his weight. Yeah, he's not allowed to anymore. Not allowed to? No, his mom told him he can't. How many uh -huh. different classes are there for the weight, the weight system? Like uh, well, it goes 103, 112, 119, 125, 130, 135, 140. So there's a good variety of yeah, wrestlers yeah. going into it. So there's a, lot of, there's a lot of places where you can wrestle at. That's good. That's good. So uh, what's the, what, is it, what does it mean by, like, your cutting weight? Like, like what's the point of the cutting weight? Well, then you're... At a lesser weight, so you're you're stronger than a lot of kids that don't cut weight. That don't Basically cut weight. Basically, losing all the water, so you can go down to. That so it's weight. like an advantage. Yeah, it's a good advantage. That's good. That's good. Uh, you guys think you'll make the tournament this year? Uh, maybe we we'll have to see. Have to see. Yeah. How many meets do you guys have a year? We have about season. Twenty-four matches each, including tournaments. So each 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 player gets a lot of wrestling time. That's good. Even JV kids. How many tournaments do you guys usually have in a season? About four. Four tournaments? Low Holiday, our biggest one. That's in the Saga Serena, actually, this year. Is it? Yeah. That's good. How that's many good. wins do you need to make it or to make a state tournament in wrestling? I know well, it's there, quite different there isn't a sport, state sport, tournament. You, points. It's individual. Like, uh, you, there's sectionals for individual, and then basically when the season's over for meets, you uh, wrestle individually, and you go to states, and then if you place like at states, you go yeah. to all states. If you place at all states, you go to New England. Just keep going as far as you can. So the pressure's on. Yeah. On you, huh? I guess so. Pressure's on everybody. Everybody. Can a team make it far? Uh, no, not really. There's team tournaments, but uh, I'm not sure if we're in it this year. All right. All right. I don't even know what to say. So recently, um, the Melrose basketball team got underway. Um, I think they had their first game Tuesday. Tuesday. Against Belmont. Against Belmont. Um, you're on the JV team. JV right? team, we won. Uh, we did pretty good. Team's looking good. Varsity, they lost it at the end. I mean, I, they almost had it. Andy heard had a good game. And uh, I don't know, they were kind of... Heard they missed like 23 free throws or something. They missed a lot of free throws. Missed a lot. I don't know. It was rough. So, um... We'll be right back with that. I heard Cap was as a kid if we skip his class. Yeah, man, we should just skip it. Who cares? Yo, come cool. on, really? Let's just skip it. Hey. days of detention do you want? <laughs> it's been two hours. When can we have a leave? I don't know. Shouldn't have escaped. 
true. Why would I want to go to a team with all all stars? Like I yeah. want to beat yeah. those guys. Yeah. yeah. Like, why would I, I want to yeah. play with them? Exactly. Yeah. Makes he, them look better. Exactly. Yeah. He would rather have the better competition against these guys than have to play with them and make it easy. Yeah, because yeah, LeBron, he, he was not winning a championship in Cleveland. The Celtics no. stopped him every year. Yeah. And then and they I made it to the when they made it to the finals, they lost. Yeah. The Celtics are still a better team than the Heat. Always will be. And oh yeah, I I th I think they are definitely a better team than the Heat. Definitely. I mean, they they proven themselves twice, home and on the road. I mean, you beat take them the first game of the season, beat them in your own house, then you go play them and you beat them there. I, I think mean, every game, like the two games that we played, I think we the Celtics have been up by twenty points or more. Yeah, at one point, point, at yeah. one point, yeah, in, the one game, point in the game, they, they have up been up by like 20, yeah. 24, 25 points. Yeah. They are they have embarrassed a lot of teams so far. Yeah. They have. Celtics they make are it look too easy. good. The yeah. Celtics are too good. Celt Celtics are. And then Kobe with the Lakers. I mean, when we that's another when, big when discussion. When we, the when Kobe, we, LeBron, who's better? When we play the Lakers in the finals this year, I think that it's going to come down to shutting down Kobe. Yep. And it Kobe's not having a spectacular. I game. I actually think the Lakers are going to have a tougher time making it to the finals this year. With all the, I mean, a lot of the teams from the West are really, really turning it on this year. I mean, I don't know. It can go either way. No, yeah. but no. we'll see what happens. I would much rather see a Celtics Lakers. Don't get me I wrong. I would rather. It's still it's still it, I hope it does, but I'm just saying they're gonna have a tougher time this year. A lot more teams playing better basketball than I think in the previous Celtics years. Have a pretty easy path. To walk. What the Bulls have um, improved, even though the Celtics have beaten them. Hakeem like Noah. Twice. Yeah. Oh, ten weeks. Yeah, that Joe Kim Noah. Yeah, Derek Rose. Actually, is, uh, Derek Rose is very good too. Derek Rose is good, but. You can't face right now. I mean, Noah person. right now, he's playing great basketball. I mean, I think he's fifth in the league with rebounds. And, um, you know, he's going to be out for 10 weeks having thumb surgery. I, think I the mean, the Bulls, like, the team, they just got Carlos Boozer back. They lose Hakeem Noah. Yeah. So it's like you just, yeah. you just lost someone. Lost you someone, someone and you get and someone. You gain someone. So it's like back. you exchange them. Yeah. I mean, I really want to see what their team looks like with both yeah. of them healthy, I mean, the, ready to go. Booz has been around for a little while, but you don't. You, you, we haven't really got a real look at what it, what a full, full of the Bulls, Bulls team, team could be. But um, I mean, you know what you're gonna expect from Boozer. Yeah. Like high numbers. Uh, yeah. I mean, he was excellent. He with oh the Jazz. he he played great and ball with Williams the Jazz. Are excellent together. So, yeah. I think bringing his talents to Chicago. He's gonna I, change the team. I think that was a good move by him, though, going to Chicago. I mean, he could have stayed with the Jazz, but I mean, him, him and D Rose, I, th I think they're gonna once they start it was meshing together. Yeah. I think that, and with Noah. Yeah. I mean, obviously he's hurt now, but I mean, he'll come back. There was a question on Sports Nation that I actually looked at a couple of days ago. It said, "Who would be a better trio in the NBA?" It was uh, Chris Paul, Carmelo Anthony, and uh, Mars Adamar, and the Knicks, or versus Ooh. the Big Three on the Heat. And I um, actually picked the um, Chris Paul, Anthony. Yeah, I mean, I, I think... And that showed up to be the higher percentage. I, I would go with that. I mean, Chris Paul, he can run an offense. But that's the same that, thing. Like, they, they he, play, all play different positions. Yeah, he, he can run the team. He He's a point guard. He's by far one of the best point guards in the in league. In the league. Amari Stoudemire I, I mean, beast. And Amari, he's had, what, like nine straight games of 30 points now? Most in Knicks... Uh, Franchise history. You yeah. can tell Melo doesn't want to be with the Nuggets. Like, yeah. Just, I mean, I, I think Melo will be out of there by the yeah. trade deadline. Yeah. I think he will be too. I mean, whether I don't know where he's going to end up, but I, I heard think. He's been looking at the Mavericks too, which would just make them an unbelievable team also. That team. Yeah. Karan Butler. Karan Drew. Butler, Derek. I mean, you add Melo Jason into Kidd. that. Jason Terry. Jason Terry. But actually, uh, Tyson Chandler has been playing very well yeah. defense they for them. Very good yeah. Team. I mean, that was, a, that was a good pickup by them. But um, the West is. I mean, if Melo goes to the Mavs, it'd be a good trade. But yeah. I think Melo would be better if he played for the Knicks with the Mark Stoudemire and Chris Paul. That would be tough for I the mean, Lakers to match up with the uh, yeah. Mavs. If he with the Mavs. Mavs. But I think Amari needs but to I get mean, up the I, West and go to the East. I, I think so. Yeah. I think he needs to. It's time for a change. Just for like league. I don't think. Uh, I don't think Chris Paul will be out of New Orleans. You don't think? I, I think he's gonna stay there. They have I mean, nobody else. That's true. Like they, really, like, they have the. I mean, they have David West. I mean, he played. He's not he well can, known though. I mean, I don't know. He Chris can Paul, He wants to win a championship, yeah. man. I mean. No, yeah, I. I don't know, but I mean that. I just think it's too tough to win a championship when you have the Boston Celtics. Like, it is. Too I mean, yeah. It is. It I is. mean, like the two fluky years, yeah. like last yeah. year, yeah. they just 
the refs they, had a big factor yeah. in that series. I mean, by far, I don't Parkins care what anyone getting says. Hurt. That's a, that was a big ESPN topic a while last year of how like it was the refs. NBA refing is just getting ridiculous. It's getting it, ridiculous. It really is. Back fouls. Someone, who, someone on the Celtics got teed up yesterday. Oh, Garnett against the Knicks got teed up because he threw the ball at the ref to give it to him. Yeah, look oh, at was me. it last night? It might have been I don't last know. I didn't even hear about that, but they just call the stupidest things. They yeah, give, the, they give Gunnett a technical foul for giving the ball to the ref after he makes a basket. Yeah, that doesn't like, make I any mean, sense. I really don't like how they don't call, um, like, you watch, like, LeBron stuff, travels. They don't call it all just because he's LeBron. Yeah, all I mean, time. you can't, just because Take someone's name, you ha- yeah, you can't yeah. can't be doing that. You can't be traveling. I mean, no one else can do it. Yeah. So why, why would he get like, the... I'm not known in the NBA, and I can't think of someone off the top of my head. When Davis was dribbling down the court, took four steps. They'd call him for a travel. Yeah. yeah. LeBron, not. Because no. he's just going for a highlight dunk or something. Yeah, or something like that, you know. But yeah. I mean, NBA talk. We had a good conversation yeah. going. Yeah. Uh, I think that will wrap it up. Yeah, it was a pleasure and, uh, being on the show. Week two of Fishing with Tuna is now over. And uh, thank you for joining us. <laughs>